Hi friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to solve a 5 cross 5 transportation problem by Vogel's approximation method or VAM. I have individual videos on how to solve a transportation problem by matrix minimum method, northwest corner method and Vogel's approximation method. So let's start. First some basics. This is called the transportation problem. This is called the cost matrix and these individual cell values are called the transportation cost and we have 5 origins O1, O2, O3, O4 and O5 and 5 destinations D1, D2, D3, D4 and D5. If we transport 1 units of goods from origin 1 to destination 1 our cost of transportation is 7 units that may be 7 rupees or 7 dollars anything. But if we transport 1 units of goods from origin 1 to destination 3 our transportation cost reduces to 1. So our objective is to transport or allocate goods from 5 origins O1, O2, O3, O4 and O5 to 5 destinations D1, D2, D3, D4 and D5 in such a manner so that our total transportation cost is minimum. These vertical values are called the supply values and these horizontal values outside are called the D1 values. That means against origin 1 the total supply is of 6 units of goods. Similarly for origin 2 there is a supply of 12 units of goods and in destination 1 there is a demand of 10 units of goods. Similarly in destination 2 there is a demand of 3 units of goods. Not only we have to minimize the transportation cost but also we have to fulfill all the demands <coughs> and we have to utilize all the supplies. Our first step is to scan each row and each column for the smallest number and the next smallest number and subtract the smallest number from the next smallest number and write the value in outside bracket. So for row 1 the smallest number is 1 and next smallest number is 2. So 1 is subtracted from 2 and the value is written outside. Similarly for row 2 the smallest number is 1 and next smallest number is 3. So 1 is subtracted from 3 and the value is written outside. So continuing steps for all the rows. Similarly say for column 1 the smallest number is 1 and next smallest number is 7. So 1 is subtracted from 7 and the value is written outside. Similarly for D2 the smallest number is 2 and next smallest number is also 2. So 2 subtracted from 2 is 0 written outside. So after completing this step next we look for the largest value among the outside values. So here we have a collision for largest number 6 at this position and this position. So which location we will allocate first. So we will look for the minimum allocation cost. That means so if we go with this 6 we will look for the smallest element in this column. The smallest element is 1 and against the 1 the demand is 10 supply is 12. So we can fulfill the minimum value which is 10. So if we allocate 10 here our allocation cost will become 10 into 1 that is 10. But if we go with this 6 our smallest number is 4 and for this 4 the demand is 11 and supply is 19. We can allocate the minimum value which is 11. After allocating 11 our allocation cost will become 11 into 4 that is 44. So allocation cost is 44 for this cell and 10 for this cell. So 10 is minimum we will go with this cell first. So we have allocated 10 at this location. So this demand is exhausted. We put a small cross here and this 12 reduces to 2. So since this column is exhausted or its demand is fulfilled, we will not continue with this column in the next table. We will continue with D2, D3, D4 and D5. So it will become like this. Again same process. Smallest number in row 1 is 1. Next smallest number is 2. So 1 subtract from 2 is 1. Similarly, say for D3, the smallest number is 1 and next smallest number is also 1. So 1 subtracted from 1 is 0. Again look for the largest number, so which is 9 and against this 9 look for the smallest number which is 4. So for this 4, demand 11, supply 19. We will allocate the minimum value which is 11. After allocating 11, demand becomes 0 and supply becomes 8. So it's exhausted. We will not continue the D3 column in next table. We will continue only 
d2, d4 and d5. So that will become like this. Again same process. The largest number is 6 and again this 6 the smallest number is 13 and for this 13 demand 21 supply 8 will take the minimum value when you allocate that is 8 and the demand will become 13 and supply will become 0 it's exhausted the next table we will not continue with O4 we'll only continue with O1 O2 O3 and O5 so that will become like this again same process the largest number is 5 smallest number is 12 13 out of 20 is allocated it becomes 0 and it becomes 7 so we will continue with d2 and d5 again same process largest number 4 smallest number 5 2 out of 3 is allocated it becomes 1 and it becomes exhausted next continuing the process the largest number is 3 smallest number is 2 and 1 out of 5 is allocated it becomes 0 exhausted and it becomes 4 so we have only column d5 and 3 origins so the allocation is very simple just put the values this time no checking required all the demands become 0 and all the supplies has become 0 our allocation is complete next we will draw our final allocation table it is nothing but the original table and we will put our individual allocations into the final table so we have 6 at O1 D5 position in O1 D5 position we have 6 similarly O3 D5 position O3 D5 position we have 4 and O5 D5 position we have 7 so similarly find the individual allocations for each step and write it into the final table. Next we will find out our total allocation cost which is given by 6 into 4 plus 10 into 1 plus 2 into 5 plus 1 into 2 plus 4 into 5 plus 11 into 4 plus 8 into 13 plus 13 into 12 plus 7 into 17 which is equals to 489 this is our required answer so friend this was my video on how to solve a 5 cross 5 transportation problem so i hope this video was helpful to you if you like this video please like it using the like button below and please subscribe to my youtube channel by subscribing you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me just whenever i upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe and please share this video among your friends and family on your Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and YouTube accounts. By sharing the knowledge, you may help someone else. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And stay connected by subscribing.